Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to set default parameters for your functions. In order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces default parameters for functions. Check out this code. So a function with a greeting, a name is equal to anonymous, return hello name, that's going to return greetings, that's going to say hello John, and then this will just be like hello anonymous. So it's going to take this as the default parameter. The default parameter kicks in when the argument is not specified, it is undefined. As you can see in the example above, the parameter name will receive its default value anonymous when you do not provide a value for the parameter. So in this one, we didn't provide a value for the parameter, so it went with the default one, which is set to name. But when we hand in the word John, name, it's not anonymous anymore, it's John. So we get hello John, and then it's hello anonymous. You can add default values for as many parameters as you want. Modify the function increment by adding default parameters so that it will add one to the number if value is not specified. Modify the increment function by adding a default parameter, so number, uh, so that it will add one to number if the value is not specified. If the value is not specified, then it is equal to one. And then here we've got, it actually, now they're writing in the console.log, so now we can see that it's seven and six. So I guess if we run the test, that should pass. Cool. Yeah, default parameters are super useful because it'll also make it so that you can write functions that have a lot of default parameters so that you can um, pass in values that, um, you can write functions that, that can be, be run without causing an error. If this doesn't have a one on it here, I think that we get errors. Yeah, see, we get non-errors non and stuff like that. So we want to pass in default values uh, when we get the opportunity. So if we run the test, we'll see that pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.